In this tutorial, we will make a simple aeroplane model, or a fighter jet, in Blender. You can use this model in a game development, or even in some serious animation. Let us start with a blank new file. Delete this default cube, and from the Add menu, add a cylinder. First, resize the cylinder by 0.3 in both X and Y, and by 2 in the Z dimension. We will make it smooth. So, go to the Modifiers tab, and add an Edge Split modifier. And apply this modifier. Then, add one Subdivision Surface modifier. Change the levels to 2 and apply it. Then add one Simple Deform modifier. Switch over to the Taper tab. Change this axis to Z axis and in the factor value, please enter 1.5. Then apply this modifier. Again add the same simple deform modifier. Switch over to the taper tab and change the axis to Z axis. But this time in the factor value, please enter minus 1.8. We need to then apply this modifier. So, the central part of our fighter jet or the aeroplane is ready. Go to the Object menu and select the Shade Smooth option. We need to make this horizontal, so in the Object Properties, change the Y rotation to 90 degrees. We can actually give a better name to this object, say, Aeroplane. And let us hide it for now. We will now create the wings. So go to the Add menu and add a plane. While the plane is selected, go to the Edit mode. Press 7 on your keyboard for the top view. Let us resize it in the x-axis by 0.3. To select everything and select these bottom two points. And from the edge menu, select the subdivide option. Now, we need to edit these points little bit, just to give it a shape of an aeroplane wing. We will just go with a simple design, like this. Back to the object mode, we need to add some thickness to it. So, go to the modifiers tab. And add a modifier, called, solidify modifier. First remove this offset value completely, and in the thickness value, enter 0.04. Then apply this modifier, and also add a bevel modifier. Change this amount field to something like 0.2. And change the number of segments to maybe 6. We need to also apply this modifier. So, our wing is almost ready. We need to just add the engines here. Probably, we can rename this to something better, like, wing. Let us also hide this. We will add a simple engine. So, go to the Add menu and add one, Cylinder. Then, in this Modifiers tab, add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. We have to use this Catmull Clark option. Increase the levels to 2 and apply this modifier. Then go to the Edit mode. We only need the upper half, so we will cut out this bottom part. First turn on this X-ray option. Then select the bottom half. Press X on your keyboard to bring this delete menu and select the vertex option here. Then go to the object mode and add another object, one UV sphere. And go back to the edit mode again. We will remove the top half of this sphere, so select this part, hit X on your keyboard and delete the vertices. Let us go back to the object mode and turn off the X-ray option. We need to have a smooth surface for this sphere. So let us add a subdivision surface modifier. Change the levels to 2, and apply the modifier. Then select this cylinder part. We need to move it down, into the spherical part. Let us fine-tune this a bit. We are trying to create a fake engine-like body. Okay, we need to add some thickness to this spherical part. So in the modifiers tab, add one, solidify modifier. Change the offset value to 0, and for the thickness, let us enter 0.05. And then, apply this modifier. It looks good. But for the spherical part, you can also apply this Shade Smooth option. Now, we need to increase its height. So, select this bottom section, go to the Properties tab, and increase the scale factor, for the Z-axis to 1.65. Then, we should do the same for the other part, but instead of increase, we will reduce its height, maybe to 0.8. That looks almost perfect. Now, select them together. Go to the object menu and join them as one object. In order to fit this engine to our wings, let us scale it down by 0.15. We will now place it under the wing. So, unhide the wing part. The engine should be facing towards us, 
so change its Y rotation angle to 90 degrees. Now, press 7 on your number keypad to go to the top view mode. Use the move tools to place the engine just at the side of this wing. Adjust it as appropriate or as you think best. You can go to the side view for a better control over the height and bring down the engine just below the bottom edge of our wing. While the engine is selected, press Shift D to duplicate it and hit Enter. Then move this second copy towards the right, somewhere here. We need to actually move both of them slightly towards the left, closer to the end of the wing, maybe here. Okay, perfect. Now, we need to join these two engines to the wing and duplicate this whole thing on the other side of the aeroplane as well. So, first select the engines and the wing together and join them from the object menu. We are done with the wing part. Let us bring back our aeroplane body as well. Press number 7 to go to the top view mode. Now, reposition the wing to an appropriate location with respect to the main body of the aeroplane. We need to also rotate this wing slightly, maybe by 10 or 12 degrees like this. Okay, there is no hard and fast rule in this. Now position it correctly. Please ensure that it has a little overlap with the aeroplane body, because we will join them shortly. Fine. Let us now create the other wing. So, in the modifiers tab, add one mirror modifier. In this mirror object, select our aeroplane. Then remove this x-axis, and for the mirror operation, select the y-axis. We got the right side wing as well, so apply this modifier. The wings in the aeroplane body are ready. We will now add the tail part. So go to the Add menu and add a rectangular plane. Then, go to the Object Properties and change the X rotation to 90 degrees. Press 1 for the front view and move the plane slightly aside. Then go to the Edit mode. Select this top left vertex and bring it down somewhere here. Back to the Object mode, we need to add some thickness to this plane. So, go to the Modifiers tab and add one Solidify modifier. Change this offset value to 0, and for the thickness, use something like 0.5. Good. Now apply the modifier. Also, add one bevel modifier. Increase the segments to 10. Then apply this modifier as well. Resize this object by 0.15. We need to attach this tail part to the main aeroplane body. So, go to the top view mode and bring this tail part towards the main body with a slight overlap. Now, press 1 for the front view. You can further fine-tune its position. This model is a simple, low-poly model that fits nicely in any macro environment, maybe in a battleground scene. But if you need to zoom into some part extensively, you may need to go for a more detailed modeling. So the plane or the fighter jet is ready with both the wings and a tail part. We will now the front section, so, go to the Add menu and add one UV sphere. We need to resize this and place it in the front. Let us scale it down by 0.15. Then relocate it towards the left, like this. To make its surface smooth, add one Subdivision Surface Modifier. Change the levels to 2 and apply this modifier. You can also apply the Shade Smooth option. Now, we need to resize this sphere and position it perfectly to match with the rest of the aeroplane body. Modeling in Blender needs both your patience and an innovative thinking on how to create some part of an object easily, using the available tools and techniques. Like this aeroplane, we have created several other models that you can practice. Please refer to the playlist called Easy Models for the Beginners, the link is in the video description. If you want, you can assign a half-transparent glass material for this cockpit, and maybe some aluminium texture for the aeroplane body, it will look more realistic. Okay, the front part is now ready. In the last step, we need to join all these parts together, into a single object. So select the cockpit, let us turn off the scaling tool. Press the shift key and select the wings, and the tail part, and also the main body, then join all of them together. So finally, our modeling part is complete. We can use this nice, little aircraft in any scene like this. Let us go to the rendered view mode and play this demo animation. This is just a basic model, you can improve it further based on your requirement. 
For example, you can add some wheels, or you can cut windows from the aeroplane body. We will soon have a tutorial on how to create some stone structures, or mountains, like we have added here. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.